You know, when you can talk all you want to about how wonderful it'll be when we put a wall up across the Rio Grande. <laughs> Let me tell you something, folks. You can put that wall up. It's physically possible. Then why don't we put up a wall with a Canadian border? There's a lot of foreigners over there, too. <laughs> then we can put up a seawall in the Atlantic, a seawall in the Pacific. Then you can send the United States Navy to the Gulf of Mexico and keep people out of there. Send the Air Force up and stop every plane from flying in America. That's why our administration has moved aggressively to secure our borders more, by hiring a record number of new border guards, by deporting twice as many criminal aliens as ever before, by cracking down on illegal hiring, by barring welfare benefits to illegal aliens. In the budget I will present to you, we will try to do more to speed the deportation of illegal aliens who are arrested for crimes, to better identify illegal aliens in the workplace as recommended by the commission headed by former Congresswoman Barbara Jordan. We are a nation of immigrants, but we are also a nation of laws. It is wrong and ultimately self-defeating for a nation of immigrants to permit the kind of abuse of our immigration laws we have seen in recent years, and we must do more to stop it. We will rise to the challenge, just as we always have. We will not build a wall. Instead, we will build an economy where everyone who wants a good job can get one. Very briefly on immigration, I hope that we get back to comprehensive immigration reform. We've had a uh, unfortunate political season where the issue has been used as a political football. There isn't any uh, sensible approach except to do what we need to do simultaneously, you know, secure our borders with technology, personnel, uh, physical barriers if necessary in some places, and we need to have tougher employer sanctions, and we need to try to incentivize Mexico to do more, and we need to